A marriage between two people in love is one of the most beautiful things to ever witness. In the West, when two people get married, they exchange wedding rings. However, in Konoha, this isn't exactly the case. When two ninja get married, there aren't any wedding rings being exchanged. Currently, in the Boruto era, Sasuke's taken it upon himself to break tradition and start a brand new one by giving Sakura a wedding ring. But this isn't any ordinary wedding ring. That's right, Sasuke Uchiha decided he had to flex on everybody when he gave Sakura her ring. And Sakura's wedding ring actually ties in to something that the Boruto series has told us in passing before that no matter how far apart Sasuke and Sakura are, Sakura will always know where he is and vice versa. In today's history of Naruto video, I'm not only going to explain to you guys the story behind Sasuke making Sakura her wedding ring, why it's different than a normal wedding ring, but I'm also going to explain to you guys why it could very well be a very important plot point going forward in the future of the series. The information comes to us from the newest Sasuke Resident novel, which is the second novel in a trilogy that sees Hokage Naruto fighting for his life against a mysterious chakra illness that struck even the Sage of Six Paths many centuries ago. In the novels, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi have gone out on missions to gather crucial intel on the mysterious illness before Naruto's health, which is already rapidly deteriorating, can nosedive any further. It's a race against time that Konoha can't afford to lose. However, while Sasuke's on his mission with Sakura, the declining health of his best friend isn't the only thing on Sasuke's mind. Throughout the novel, small moments of romance pop up between Sasuke as he carries out his mission and between Sakura. It's on this mission that Sasuke makes the very first ever ninja wedding ring, but this is no ordinary wedding ring. Like I told you before, Sasuke pulls off a serious flex here. Instead, it's a wedding ring that's made out of the chakra of Sasuke that he molded after he performed an earth release jutsu, which Sakura notes the diamond actually shines with Sasuke's chakra, and it's with this chakra ring that Sasuke can track Sakura's movements and Sakura can be put at ease that Sasuke's still alive since if the ring's lighting up that means that Sasuke's still alive. Make no mistake, this is huge simply for a few different reasons. Like Sasuke stated in Naruto Gaiden and restated in this novel, his missions are extremely dangerous and he's the only one who can carry them out because he's the only person who can travel through Kaguya's dimensions. This brings me to the second reason why this is so big. Sasuke's ring is basically the equivalent of the Naruto universe having V free cards, which is something we see in the One Piece series. In One Piece, this card allows you to know the location of a person and the state of the card that it's in lets you know whether or not they're alive or dead or dying. Anytime Sakura's worried about Sasuke's well-being, Sakura can just look down at the ring that she keeps in her pocket. However, the other side to this is that anytime Sasuke's near death or potentially dead, the ring that Sasuke carries won't light up with Sasuke's chakra. What I'll do for you guys now is read the passage from the novel where Sasuke creates the ring and come back to you guys with my thoughts but before I begin I just want to thank Organic Dinosaur for translating this passage. Like I've stated before I personally think she's the most reliable source in our community and I want to thank her for translating this passage from the novel because I understand how difficult it is to translate Japanese to English so I thank her for that. But it's going to be here I'm going to begin quoting. Suddenly Sasuke came to a halt. Hmm what's wrong. Sakura questioningly stopped walking too. Sasuke silently turned his head and looked back over his shoulder. Gripping Sakura's fingers, he needed chakra that came into contact with her at the base of her fourth finger. As the chakra materialized, it completely changed into sand. It surrounded her fourth finger like the rings of Saturn, coiling around it. Then, in the blink of an eye, it had become a completed ring of sand. Immediately afterwards, it chimed with the clear sheen sound. It had transformed from sand into silver. Wear it. Seemingly pouting, Sasuke let go of her hand. This is... This is Sakura extended her fingers and gazed with twinkling eyes at the ring that it suddenly appeared around her fourth finger. The ring sparkled a metallic color. It was silver. Furthermore, the huge red jewel that had been mounted into the stone setting was a ruby. Both were substances that had been generated in the soil of its earth release. He had enhanced the purity of those materials until they had reached their utmost limits. Even with Sasuke's dexterity and skills, it seemed as though this was an impromptu application of earth ninjutsu to try to make a ring. Wearing a ring on your fourth finger is a sign of a married person. Thank you. 
Sakura said bashfully. It didn't seem as though Sasuke had heard her voice since he had curtly turned his back towards her and began to walk away. Shortly afterwards, while walking behind him, Sakura covered her warm cheeks with the palms of her hands. The improvised ring was a bit elliptical in shape, but nevertheless, it was beautiful. Its brilliance was clearer than that of the stars or even water. Its degree of clarity and purity even seemed to exceed it that of naturally produced gemstones. This was the result of Sasuke's deliberate chakra control. Perhaps Sasuke-kun was jealous. If she tried to express something like that, she knew that Sasuke would likely keep his mouth shut even more. And so she decided to keep that idea inside of her head. Admiring the red jewel that adorned her fourth finger, Sakura squinted her eyes and smiled with her entire face as if she had been tickled. End quote. So let's be real here for a second. What Sasuke did was really smooth. Like this was really smooth. But this is also something that's built up really well in the whole context of the novel. Early on in the novel, Sasuke learns that Gigi and a few other prisoners find Sakura to be extremely attractive and they think that she's single because she doesn't have a wedding ring on. While Sasuke carries out his mission to gather intel, Sasuke eventually decides to make a wedding ring for Sakura using his chakra, which then will let everybody know that Sakura is his woman and that she's taken. For Shinobi, especially someone like Sakura who uses her hands to perform medical ninjutsu and medical treatment, Sakura wouldn't be able to wear the ring that much, but it's still a gesture that shows the depths of how much Sasuke cares for. It's a ring that lets her know that Sasuke is safe and sound, and it's a ring that lets Sasuke know where Sakura is. Essentially, it's a GPS monitor to help Sasuke find his way home to Sakura after returning from a long mission, which is a nice bit of symbolism in my opinion. Sasuke and Sakura were separated for many years after they became members of Team 7, and then after the fourth great ninja war, they separated for a few more years before Sasuke allowed Sakura to travel with them on his journey, which is where we learn that reason gave way to his passion and that Sasuke used his almighty push on Sakura one night and all of a sudden Sakura Uchiha was being born nine months later. It's something that's really special because again, that ring is essentially a GPS monitor. If you go back to the Three Tales arc that you have in the Naruto Shippuden anime, which was a filler arc, when you go back to that, the whole theme was about having a place that you can return to, wherever that place is, that's what you call home. And essentially Sasuke has a GPS monitor to get himself there so that's pretty dope Sasuke has Android Auto but that's it for this latest video on the Sasuke novel I've got more coming since I have more translations from a few different sources so stay tuned for more I've got to record and edit those right now I'm only using one source but I have more sources for more translations but as more information comes out I'll be sure to give you guys more information thank you so much for watching to the end have an incredible day guys